Thank you to all my members. I really appreciate that. If you want to become a member and help support the channel, just hit that join button. Y'all have a great day and thank you once again from the bottom of my heart. Are you looking for action figures? Then head over to The Chosen Prime. The link is in the description. Just follow that. And man, they got everything your heart desires. Transformers, 5-2 toys, Power Rangers, Turtles, Marvel, DC, statues, whatever you want. Just go over and follow that link, man. You can order everything you want. Just order. Just go over there and order. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, we got some breaking news, breaking news. Love this. All right, so it looks like we have new pictures of Rise of the Beast Wheeljack. So we got the first, you know, trailer about a week ago, a week and a half ago. And uh, we did see Wheeljack. We didn't see him transfer. I mean, we saw the back of him in their, you know, that one scene where they're walking, uh, you know, towards that stuff and everything. Uh, but we just saw the back of Will Jack, uh, which he was into very fun. So now we did see the, uh, you know, with him and RC uh, fighting, um, I think it was Baltrap. Uh, they were fighting in that scene and everything. So we did see the vehicle mode. So I'm not, you know, I'm not for sure this has not been really announced, but, um, you know, I'm just uh, going off by what these pictures go. So I'm just going to go through some pictures and look at him and tell you what I think about him. And wow, let's take a look at the first pick. What is up with that head sculpt, man? Why has he got the Telly Savalas, head, you know, glasses from the '70s? I, I, I don't get it. I mean, that I don't know about that head sculpt. You know, I do like the paint. You know, the brown and the kind of tannish thing going on. Um, it does. I don't know if it has a lot of paint. It does have some blue paint, you know, in the front. You got the nice Autobot symbol, um, and then on on his, uh, you know, head crest too as well. Uh, you do got a lot of brown, kind of a goldish plastic. It looks like his hands are painted uh, gold over the black plastic. Uh, he does have some hollowness in the forearms and the legs as usual. Um, a lot, you know, his feet, all of it is just tan. Uh, they got some silver p uh, paint there on his uh, shins. And you got some tan paint, looks like, on the, his uh, knees around that area. Uh, so, yeah, and got some more uh, uh, silver paint on the uh, on his front of his chest and everything. But, man, that head sculpt, I don't know, man. And then we get a shot of the vehicle mode. And like I said, you got the front, you got the nice uh, kind of a bluish tint to the windows. Uh, you got that front, you know, his grill, you know, what you saw on his chest. You got the Autobot, the blue lights and everything. You got the gray paint right there for the bumper. Uh, looks like you don't have mushroom pegs for the wheel, so that's good. Uh, kind of a pin thing and everything. It says TV, it looks like it says TV Pablo uh, on the, uh, you know, back there uh, at the rear end and everything. So, you know, the... You know, the band mode looks okay. You know, it kind of looks 70-ish, so I could understand why the glasses look 70 -ish. And there's a really great shot right there of the head sculpt. Man, those glasses are wild. That is wicked. Uh, you do got some gray paint. You got a little sculpt work in there for the face. Uh, you got some uh, some duck lips, it looks like. Uh, you got that nice little Autobot symbol right there. And it looks like the brown or the goldish is uh, painted as well. So you got some decent paint on there. It's just, man, those sunglasses are just wicked. And here's another, you know, different angle. Uh, looks like he got some side butt tires, it looks like, uh, going on and everything. Uh, but nothing really much new right here. And you got the side view of him, and not bad. So it looks like he may have an ankle tilt. Looks like it's on a ball peg, kind of looks like. So you're going to get a little decent, uh, you know, rocker right there. You got the side of the, you know, head sculpt right there. A lot of gray paint right there. Uh, the doors are on his arms uh, and everything. So, you know, so-so. It's okay. And there's the back of him. It cleans up pretty good. Uh, you know, he does have it has some hollowness, you know, in the thighs and everything. But the back of the legs look pretty decent. Uh, and you got that little port right there on the back of him on the back. So you may could put, you know, a weapon or a store's weapon or anything like that right there. And there's a different angle. He does got some big old calves a little bit. A little sticking out. Not big old calves, but he does, uh, the calves do stick out. And like I said, you can do, you know, see those waffles. You got some nice, uh, the translucent blue windows uh, back there. It looks like that whole uh, back of him is uh, translucent blue. And just, you got some tan paint on there as well. So uh, not bad. Not bad at all from that angle. And there you go. You get his first shot at his weapon. It kind of looks like a grease gun, to be honest. I don't know. That's just me. Uh, but it's not, you know, it's fine. He's got some sculpt work in there. It's all it looks like black plastic and everything. And you got, you know, some decent uh, articulation there, I guess. So, yeah, pretty cool. And just a different angle. And you can see a uh, better look at the gun right there. So, you know, not bad. 
and you get more of a different angle of the Jeep mode as well, or I guess band mode, if you want to call it, not a Jeep mode. Uh, so yeah, it looks pretty good. You got some nice uh, blue paint, like I said, the kind of goldish paint right there. You got some silver paint. So nicely painted in the front. I like that. And here's the side of it. Like I said, it says TV Pablo, which um, I guess we'll hopefully maybe find out, you know, if it's a reference to something. Um, and then you got the nice, uh, I don't know if that's plastic. Uh, the gold looks kind of look like it's all, you know, one color. So that's good. It's not different tone like, you know, Ironhide from Studio Series. So that's good. And you got the tannish kind of a, uh, you know, you got tan, you know, the TV Pablo, that's not painted, all that back there, but the front of it with the blue uh, translucent, that is painted. So that's a kind of a different off color of that and other thing. So, you know, looks okay on the side. And then you got the back and you know, once again, you got some more tan paint. Uh, you got some silver for the bumper. You do got some uh, red for the uh, uh, tail light. So that's really good. So I like that. And you got the top of it and that's uh, it's kind of ugly. You can see the ball pegs, you know, you do got a port right there. I guess you could put the weapon up there if you want to. Uh, but you got some uh, four spots right there where you can see the ball peg and that's mm, kind of unsightly right there. They could have covered that up. And just like I mentioned, you could put the gun right there if you want to. So yeah, so you got some gun storage right there. And if you like to see the bottom of the things, here you go. You can, you know, see some real bit pieces. You can see his head's tucked in right there. So, you know, it is what it is. And there he is next, uh, standing next to Studio Series Hot Rod. And, uh, but, you know, he's a luck scale. So, you know, got the same height as a uh, Hot Rod is. So not bad. And there he is standing next to Earthrise uh, Will Jack. And you got him standing next to uh, Studio Series Ironhide as well. So he's, uh, you know, a little bit shorter than both of them, especially Ironhide. Which, you know, that's, that's fine. You know, he's always going to be shorter than Ironhide. And there he is next to Ironhide in alt mode and definitely a lot smaller than what he is. So, yeah, they're kind of shrinking right there. And just a different angle right there. Man, that Ironhide, man, that red, all three color reds is just, yeesh. But there you go, another angle for the alt mode. And there he is next to Nightbird. So uh, that's really interesting. Now, golly, they do got the mushroom pegs for her, man. Golly. But I do love that black, the purple. You got the kind of a pukish green, you know, pea soup green right there. Then you also got some gold for her as well. Uh, man, they put a mushroom peg on the front, man. That just looks so ugly. And that really, the top of the brown, that gold right there with all that black up there, kind of looks out of place too as well, so... But uh, hopefully we'll see some more pictures of her later on. All right, so while I was editing the Wheeljack uh, Rise of the Beast, well, I saw some pictures of Nightbird. We did see the car mode just a, a while ago, but now we got new pics of the alt mode and the bot mode. So I'm going to talk about her as well right now. All right, so here the first pick is going to be the bot mode. The head sculpt looks pretty cool. I like it. I like that. Um, got the purple for the uh, you know for the dome. You got some silver. It looks like kind of a goldish or that maybe that pukish green uh, that you got on the front of her chest uh, for the eyes. And kind of looks like she has um, like maybe like metal hair coming down uh, on the side. So that looks pretty cool. You got the front. You got the nice like I said the pukish green. You got some black paint. Looks like that. You got a bunch of uh, kind of a goldish uh, plastic and a bunch of black, and then you got some purple on the knees. Uh, the feet are kind of weird, so but it does look like they do have a hinge right there, so it, she does is going to have a uh, ankle tilt, so that's good. But the kind of got the high heel thing going on, but in the front, uh, I think so. Eh, it is what it is, but not terrible, not not bad at all for the uh, alt or the uh, bot mode. And like I said, I, you know, I talked about the car mode. I like it, except for that mushroom peg that just looks so ugly. But the tires, you know, they are purple. That's nice. Looks like the mirrors got painted purple. You got a bunch of black and tan uh, or goldish tan uh, plastic. And you got that puke green for the, uh, you know, for the uh, headlights and everything. Love the dark tint of the windows. Kind of weird that that brown goes all, you know, there's two brown things that go up to the, the windows. That's kind of weird looking. Uh, I wish they would have maybe painted those black or not even put those right there. But, you know, it is what it is. But there you go. Looks, It looks okay. It looks a little panelly. And here's a head sculpt pick right there. And you got the Predacon uh, symbol right there on the chest. Looks really nice. You got that puke green. Uh, and then you got the head sculpt. I think the head sculpt looks really good. I like it. it like I said, it looks like kind of got like metal hair or something like that. And you got that little dome thing going on. So really nice. I like that purple as well. And just a different angle. It looks like she's got some uh, saddle bags on her hips and everything. So that's probably, you know, part of the car and everything. Um, you know, it looks skinny mini right there. You got the, you know, upper chest, you know, it's probably, you know, kind of wide and it goes into a little small waist and everything. You do got a little face on there, uh, the abdomen area. Uh, saying hello to you and uh, just those feet are weird but uh, i like the sculpt work a little bit it's kind of got like a little shock or piston down there on the foot that looks pretty cool so you know not bad and you get the side mode and you also got the you know you got the tires kind of like the rc thing going on right there so that's pretty cool you do got a port on her uh, wrist so you can you know put a weapon there 
Uh, not terrible on the backpack. You know, the uh, top of the car kind of folds. It looks like the back of the car is on the back on the top of the car. Uh, so it looks pretty, you know, not terrible. Not bad at all. So a little small backpack. And then you got the back of her. And like I said, those mushroom pegs look ugly. Um, but you got the, you know, the back of the car right there. You do got some red tail lights, so that's nice. And then you got kind of like the uh, saddle things on the side of her uh, thighs and everything. So, you know, they may get in the way while you're doing articulation, but not terrible. And then you got a different angle right there. Looks like she's kind of thrusting out a little bit. So, yeah, if you like that kind of thing, thrust away. Oh, and here's her weapons. Okay, so she got a nice sword. I like it. Got that nice metallic purple in there. That looks really good. It kind of got like a claw thing going on. Kind of like a, a Street Fighter. Uh, what's his name? Um, oh, I can't remember his name. He had the little claws. Uh, but I think there were three on his. So it kind of got the Wolverine. This kind of looks like it's two claws. So... Uh, that's her weapons. All right, yeah, so you can see there's two weapons. I think it's Vega. That was his name, if I got it right. Hopefully I got it right. Somebody's going to tell me I'm wrong or not. But he do got some nice uh, metallic purple on the shoulder pads, the 80 who been working shoulder pads. But I like that uh, that uh, sword. Looks pretty good. And there, you can store the sword on the back, too, as well. Going to give it more a little bit of a back pad, but not terrible. It kind of blends in. I like that. So pretty cool. And here's another pick of the car mode. I like they got the paint. You got the nice uh, silver and you got the, you know, the purple stripes right there on the top. And it looks like the black and the vents are maybe painted too as well. And then you got that puke green uh, for the headlights. So not terrible. And then the gold on the bumper looks like it's painted too. So nice paint job. And then you got the side. I'm not, I'm not feeling the side. Look, I, you know, I don't like the, you know, the all black all the way down then you got a little gold piece right in the middle and then on the back as well then on top you see that gold piece right there that's i don't know Ugh. the side mode doesn't look that uh, look that promising but you know that's just me and here is the back and that's a lot of black plastic you do got a little red right there for the tail lights i like that but uh the back doesn't look bad at all so there you go it looks like those little two circle things a half circle maybe you could store the uh, weapon there. and then you got the top half and like i said i just don't like the on the top of the car that brown piece right there that gold piece right there just kind of sticks out but you know maybe so make a paint it black or something all right well you can't maybe you can't store that weapon there you can store it underneath and that does not look very promising i don't like that that's going to just drag on the ground so uh, well yeah it is it is what it is all right, so this is, okay, I don't know what this is doing, but I guess you can transform it a little bit and have the, looks like look, looks like a tail, two pieces of tail on, coming out of her or something. I, I don't know. It is a, she is Nightbird. Uh, could be wings or something. I don't know, but it looks like two little uh, line paws or something, <laughs> or a tail or something. I don't know, but that's kind of weird. And if you like that kind of thing, here's underneath. You can see the head and all that wonderful robot pieces, and you got the sword back there as well. And there she is standing next to the G1 Nightbird. And uh, they, they they look pretty good together. I like that. Uh, so they're about the same height uh, with her dome. A little, you know, triangle dome thing going on. They're about the same height. And there she is with Air Razor, Wheeljack, and Hot Rod. So yeah, all deluxes and about the same scale or same height. And there's the car mode. And it looks pretty good. You know, it's a little small. You know, she is a little smaller definitely than uh, Ironhide and Hot Rod. Uh, then you got Wild Rider over there too as well. So, yeah, car modes. All right, well, there they are. The two, uh, you know, it looks like first reveals or first look at. We got Wheeljack and we got Nightbird. Uh, you know, Wheeljack, like I said, those glasses are wild, you know. And, you know, the alt mode looks, you know, like 70-ish, you know, got a you know, van going on. Um, so, you know, not terrible at all. Uh, the bot mode, just, you know, like I said, those glasses and, you know, overall not terrible. It looks like it's got some decent paint. Uh, both of them got some decent paint, it looks like. Uh, but they got that gold thing going on as well. Um, you know, Nightbird, you know, like the head sculpt looks really good. I like the you know, silver things, you know, on the side of the face looks like maybe kind of hair or something like that. Uh, but yeah, the uh, car mode, I just, I hate that, you know, the mushroom peg looks terrible. Uh, but uh, both modes, you know, both of them look pretty decent. You know, I'll definitely be getting these and uh, I can't wait to, uh, you know, get my collection. So uh, like I said, hope you like this. Uh, I love doing these little things. If you do, definitely hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. And uh, hit me up some comments. Tell me if you, you know, which one y'all like of these. Do you even like these, uh, the way they look? Uh, and I guess I'll see you the next uh, what's, you know, new or breaking news Transformers. And as always, be good to yourself. Man, hell freaking those glasses and hell freaking Transformers. And good night, folks.